Hey guys, welcome to Top Channel 111, and today we're going to be taking a look at V-Ray for Blender. V-Ray is basically one of the most popular render engines for 3D, and it has been around for quite some time, supported by all the other major applications like Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, and Houdini, and today it is coming to Blender. If you go to the links in the description, you can actually try out V-Ray for Blender, and right now it's only compatible with Blender 4.2, so you have to download that. Just go to blender.org, download and uh, under LTS you'll find Blender 4.2. Click download and select the version you want, the installer you want. After installing that then you can install the V-Ray for Blender installation. You can get it for free after you join their beta program. They just require an email and that's it. Uh, they'll give you the installer. You can install it and, you, and it will install as an add-on into Blender and uh, to activate it you activate it like any other add-on. So you go under edit preferences after ins installing it and uh, you can search for v ray just type in v and you should see it down here if you type in v ray directly like that it won't show it has a hyphen so v ray and uh, you, you should see it there activate it and you should be able to use it now if you go into the render, render engines you will see that uh, there is a new render engine called v ray so you can change to that and uh, it has gpu and cpu support so let's say change to gpu because it's always faster and uh, to activate it you have to click on this start interactive render now if it's not activated already clicking this button will just take you to the to the v-ray website so that you can activate it v-ray for blender works like cycles in that is a path tracing engine so if we add a plane and uh, let's create a simple scene here and uh, let's add maybe some cylinder in there just like that we can go to the render viewport you can add lights go to the light so v-ray comes with its own lights but you can still use the lights that come with blender but it's recommended to use the v-ray lights as they are more, more optimized for the v-ray render engine so let's add that and just bring this up maybe scale it a bit and rotate it and i can see we have something uh, like that also, another thing to note is that V-Ray also comes with its own shader editor, so you can't just use the materials you have. And in fact, whenever you change to V-Ray, the default shader editor will disappear and you will now have the V-Ray node editor where you can create your own materials. This editor is context sensitive, so if you have a light, it will change to V-Ray light nodes. If you select an object, it will change to the material nodes so i can create a new material and you can see that it will add a very material so unfortunately the blender materials are not compatible with this render engine so you can't just open your old projects and expect them to work directly with V-Ray. So you have to tweak the materials. Uh, if your materials are not that complicated, it's going to be very easy. So for example, if I wanted this to be maybe a ground, I can create a new material. And uh, V-Ray also comes with its own nodes, textures, and everything else. So if I use Shift-A, I can access textures, and you'll see that they are all V-Ray textures. If you're looking for an image texture, just click on the bitmap. This is the equivalent to the image texture with the default blender so i can click on that and uh, then i can navigate to any texture that i have so i'll go to my resources and uh, maybe let me get a grass select that and i can plug this into the diffuse and you can see i have grass uh if you want let's say make make this a different material let's give it a, a color just like that there are a bunch of different materials so you can go to the material tab you can see there is hair blend a blend material there is a material override uh two-sided materials quite a lot of different materials now you also have different types of lights like uh, you you have a very spherical or sphere light uh, that is just going to be a sphere uh, consider this as a bulb uh, V-Ray also supports mesh lighting, so you can add a, you can add a cube uh, just like this and give it a new material. Uh, let's just look for, um, go to material and uh, look for the light material. Connect that and you can see now this becomes a light source. If you want to use HDRI images, you, you can go in your shader editor and change to the world settings and use V-Ray world nodes to add an HDRI. Now you have the environment, uh, so you can come in here and add a V-Ray bitmap, navigate to your HDRIs, uh, let me use this, and connect this to the background. And make sure to turn on background to have it as part of the background. Now V-Ray also comes with its own sky, so if you want to use that, you can use Shift-A, go to Light, Sun and Sky, 
and it should add a sun and a sky for you it also add a collection so if you want to change any settings you can go you can go to that collection and select the sky and uh, you should be able to adjust the settings there so i'm going to go to the light settings and reduce the intensity to 0.1 uh, because it's too bright right now and uh, to get the direction of the sun you have to select the target and move that that way you can adjust the rotation of the sun now we can go back to the sun settings and uh, you can see we have options to add clouds uh, which uh, just gives us a very very detailed sky with clouds i wish this was a feature that cycles hard you can see you can really adjust uh, the clouds uh, adjust the seed uh, play around with these settings to get whatever you want you have a lot of settings to play around with one of the best settings about this is these ground shadows so if i turn that on uh, the clouds will also add shadows to the ground which is great for creating large environments and uh, uh, you can see that uh, whenever i rotate the sun uh, the clouds also move along that's not all if you go under meshes you see that there is a v-ray category where you can create a new V-Ray scene, create proxies, and uh, a lot of other things that you can use. V-Ray has a ton of features. So if you want to take advantage of those, of those features, you can always go to the V-Ray website. Links are going to be in the description and download it and start playing with it. The disadvantage of uh, V-Ray is that uh, it's not compatible with, with psycho materials. For example, if I bring in this beach house, uh, it will first ask me to upgrade uh, the scene to seven point something i don't know what that even means but uh, uh basically to make it compatible with ev and with uh vire and uh so this is what this scene looks like with cycles you can see it's just a simple scene i set up but uh, if i convert this to vire the materials are not going to work another thing to note is that vire also has its own render so uh, let me just go to the camera view here uh you if you click on this it will open up that render and uh, it will start rendering out your scene uh, as you can see and uh, the great thing about this is that it also has the progress of your render down here so you have to set up the materials again so that's very for you if you want to check it out links are, go are going to be in the description thank you